Hi, welcome back to Celebrating Culture. We're here at Dini Seafood in Bucktown, and I'm with Miss Barbara Shafisi, and she is known as Dini, but you're not really Dini. No. So let's let's start at the beginning because you and your husband studied in Paris. Yes. So fill me in. You get married, and you're off to Paris. I got married at 19, and my husband and I left to go live in France. He was going to Le Cordon Bleu. I do not know one word in French, <laughs> but he learned quite a bit and I actually learned things from him. So then you started with restaurants in the uptown area of New Orleans. We actually started catering from my house well, as soon as we came back. From that, we first opened an Italian restaurant on Magazine Street and the opportunity came up for us to acquire Dini's and I thought my husband was crazy, but <laughs> it worked out well for us. That was 1982. Yes, it was. And then a few years later, unfortunately, your husband passed away. Yes. But then you took charge, 1985, and you bought out your partners? I did. And then we have Dini's today, which is in Bucktown. Tell me the story about Bucktown. Oh, Bucktown was an old fishing village. And as I was growing up, you heard stories about Bucktown. Never did really come out here. There are many stories circulating around, but Bucktown used to be a lot of fishing camps. It was a fishing village. They had a lot of bars, houses of prostitution, you name it, they had it here. I think they had a little bootlegging going on also out this way. <laughs> July 4th is the blessing of the fleet. Yes. And there's still a big fireworks in Bucktown Harbor now. Well, they had stopped the blessing of the fleet. And a few years ago, I decided we should bring this back in this area. You've been in business now for 35 years. Dini's is one of the first restaurants to be certified in serving Louisiana seafood. And to be certified, you have to prove that 90% of your seafood comes from Louisiana waters. My reputation is we're one of the places where the locals like to eat. And we're enjoying the seafood. We got the catfish right here in the house. We got the crawfish. It's almost gone. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> almost gone. <laughs> and, and the shrimp, they barely hanging in there. So <laughs> y'all come on out, we got the arts and all. It's all it's good, it's very right, delicious. Right. Your kids stepped into the business. My husband and I decided when each one reached 16 years old, they didn't have any choice. They had to come to work. On their birthday, they, each one started as a regular employee so they could see where this money was coming from. They put the, the clothes on their back, the food in their plate, et cetera. Really, on their birthday? On their birthday. What are your children's names? All of them? Yeah, all of them. Mark, Darren, Eric, Keith, Garrett, Chandra, and Candace. I have seven. And they all, on their 16th birthday, show up at Dini's? Yes. Did they have cake at all later at home, or did? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And Chandra, which store is she running right now? She has the Dini Seafood Kitchen on Magazine and Jackson. I'm with Chandra Chafisi, who is the co-owner of Dini's. Second generation, right? Yeah, yeah. Welcome to the show. Thanks for coming. Now, your mom yeah. says that when you turn 16, your birthday present is you report to work for your first day. Yeah, but that wasn't my first day, but yeah. <laughs> yes, I did report to work when I was 16, but I was doing it before that, too. <laughs> is that, and that's, a, and that's a Chafisi custom that you all the kids turn 16 and their birthday president is now uh, you're going to punch a card well absolutely i mean to me in any italian family that owns a restaurant you're going to work we understood that at a young age so i'm fine with that i've been working my whole life i'll, I'll probably work till i die what so. was your first position in the restaurant the first thing i ever remember doing was standing on a milk crate in the retail store learning to peel a shrimp and then i used to always get seasoning in my eye when i was a kid from the boil and i remember one day i got in my eye and it was bad and my dad was standing there and he said what's wrong like i got season in my eye he stuck my whole head under the faucet to get it out, just, I was all wet after that. <laughs> oysters, what makes oysters so Louisiana? Well, you know, it's a delicacy. Anything that comes from Louisiana, it's like nowhere else. Whether it be shrimp, crabs, crawfish, oysters is right up there with that. It's something in the water that makes everything just taste better in Louisiana. The best time to eat this is certain times of the year. The R months is the best time to eat a raw oyster, September through April, anything with an R in it. It's the cooler months of the year when that water is getting to that cooler point and it gets to that perfect temperature and it makes the perfect raw oyster. You know, raw oysters, a lot of it is preference. Some people like them small, 
Some people like them bigger. People like horseradish with it. Some people just like the ketchup the horseradish combo, which is a cocktail sauce. Some people just to put lemon on them. So what do we have here? How would we do this? Well, this is uh, a dozen more oysters that we would serve in the dining room at any one of our locations. Serve it always with some lemon and our cocktail sauce that we just made in-house. How would we go about it? What's, what's the first steps here? Some people eat it right off the shell. They'll pick okay. it up and yep. they'll just eat it right off the shell. But I think you're doing a little bit of lemon on them? Some people do, some people don't. Yes, yeah, so you could squirt the lemon on it if you'd like. I'm a lemon fan. There you go. Okay. And actually they take, they do it this way. They hold it by the thicker part. Oh, the thicker part like right. this? And then, then right. they suck it right off the shelf. Like this? Yes. Wow. There you mm. go. That is, spi that is perfect. Well, you also, besides the restaurant, you also have the market. We do. We have one of the oldest seafood markets here at the Bucktail location in Jefferson Parish. We sell crawfish, crabs, shrimp, live and boiled seafood. And you know, it's a continuous thing that we've done from year to year to live on what Miss Deanie started originally. She was a pioneer in the seafood business and my dad and my mom were too and took it over from her. Great. So it was great. Was it's a good experience. So you guys have a website? Our website is www.deanies.com and all three restaurants are featured on that site. Chandra, I want to thank you for being on thank the show you. and I'm going to enjoy finishing off these oysters. So Ms. Barbara, I want to thank you for being on the show. You're welcome. And I've loved Deanies for decades. So I mean, appreciate all you've done for New Orleans and everything. And if you're coming down New Orleans and you want to know how a local does seafood, go to Deanies. You got three choices, the French Quarter, uptown and out here in Metairie. It's just a great experience for oysters and all seafoods actually. <laughs> well, thank you very much.